Hey everyone. Um, okay, right. Obviously, as the title says, this is a book review. I bought this with my own money uh, when I saw it in the art shop yesterday. It leapt out at me. Um, and oh goodness, just the cover, the colours just speak to me so much. And then paint yourself positive. It's everything that I stand for. It's what I do. It's like um, how you can live a positive or live the life that you want. Uh, and live a positive life through creativity and um, this is exactly what she explores in this book there's obviously um, projects in here as well um, so without further ado I'm gonna flip through and show you all like the aspects of it which really speak to me and which I think are um, the main selling points of this book so that you can decide whether or not you want to buy it obviously again so I, this isn't sponsored in any way um, I literally just saw this yesterday picked up and devoured it um, so yeah, oh, the colours on the front, they just, oh, love them so much. Right, so, again, like here's Jean Haynes' Paint Yourself Calm, another lovely book, brilliant coffee table book, something to dip into and get inspiration from. Um, that's uh, about creative mind mindfulness through watercolour. Um, and I love the, the quotes in here. Obviously, that's a quote from herself, but she has quotes from lots of different sources. Um, the, just the, the images in here are stunning. Okay, so she introduces you to the book. Um, then you have obviously the contents. This starfish story is really, really good. It's all about how um, two different mentalities, um, but I'll let you read that for yourself. You can pause that and have a look. Okay, it says, uh, why paint ourselves positive? Through the simple act of painting regularly, you can achieve a state of positivity that can help you live your life more confidently with increased happiness and with more energy. That is so, so, so true. Um, she talks about how you can improve your life through um, creating and painting. Um, okay, in the strength, let me just make sure you're getting all this in shot. Yeah, in the strength, control. Um, I put some tabs in here because there are things that really stood out to me that I thought I would share with you. Um, this book, okay, she says, I should explain here that this book isn't about aiming for finished paintings to frame. The goal of each exercise is, is instead to feel different, to feel wonderful, alive and able to take on the world as a new you starts to appear. It's so inspiring um, and I totally agree with that, absolutely, because uh, when you do sit on, the, sit on this like creative journey and combine it with living a positive lifestyle, things do genuinely start to change for good. Um, and she says here, it's, there's this affirmation. Now, to make it your own, to make it your own personal affirmation, I will say, because she, she hasn't mentioned it here, personalise it by saying, I am wor worth caring about. I am worth the time to enjoy life to the full. Um, and then here at the end, she's put an intention. Um, she says, right now, I would like you to set your mind to painting yourself positive. So that would be your own personal intention. So if you get this book and you do start to... Um, it to your life that will be the intention that you would set yourself um, talking about making changes really interesting um, just I mean I haven't just bought this for the art the words in here her writing um, is fantastic what she talks about I'm not going to give all of it away obviously um, okay so what you need positively simple um, yeah so basically this is about um, what you're going to need so it goes to the basics it's about um, obviously like the tools that you're going to need um, the main aim of this book is for you to create in a new way sorry in a way that you find pleasing improves your mood and leaves you feeling energized because there are no set goals to achieve you shouldn't carry any negative feelings of self-doubt before picking up a brush such such as I am am I good enough to paint or can I even do the exercises in this book? In any case, I can answer both questions immediately. Yes, you are, and yes. And then obviously goes through all the um, all the equipment that you need. Uh, this is really interesting, actually. I'm really impressed by this because she starts off by talking about um, life without colour, yet at the same time, how just focusing on dark, like darkness, shades, shadows, um, can help. Um, when it comes to painting with colour. There is a positive aspect to um, the dark and the shadows, which you can learn from. Um, 
and yeah it's you just really got to read the book but it's, it is really really interesting so then there's this activity here seeing the light um and I like this because she combines art with life so she says think of three problems that you would like to disappear uh, or three things you would like to change about yourself the three ink spots in this demonstration represent these as we progress through the book you will hopefully find these problems gradually becoming less important or easier to deal with and that really is the theme of this book each exercise deals with things in your own personal life and can be done over and over again um, and it's extremely flexible um, and I really love this as well here art washes away from the soul the dust of everyday life um, and she just talks about it's just um, really interesting here um, yeah I won't really go into all of that just now and then the power of colour how colour um, really really just how powerful it is how it affects us how it speaks to us um, and the actual how it changes our mood um, yeah really really interesting this is a really good exercise this traffic light one um, here we've got um, colour has power use it well uh, use colour to change your mood, strengthen your resolve and aid you in your life journey. It's so interesting and I love this exercise because of the abstractness of it. Power of you, I love this chapter. Um, here, um, this is really interesting because she talks about how you find your style as an artist and I really I, oh, disagree with this so much because what she's saying here is by knowing what you like by seeking art and artists whose work you enjoy or admire by taking time to study art either in books online or by visiting exhibitions um yeah so that's how you find your, your style and what you like as an artist knowing what you like obviously like through pinterest through as well through instagram all those um different avenues however you do not need to aspire to be a great artist to benefit from time spent creating far from it the purpose of this book is to look at ourselves and find a way by painting that can add to who we are, enhance our time when creating and affect our lives positively once we put our brushes down. We can use painting as a way to strengthen our characters and change our outlook on life. Your opinion matters, not necessarily to others, but certainly to you. Understanding that your viewpoint has value should be a big boost to your level of self-confidence. Totally agree. So I'm not going to too much away per book. I put um, a, a sticky note in here because this really, I really can't wait to do this. Um, it's all about not letting mental blocks control you. So like um, this quote here, don't let mental blocks control you. Set yourself free, confront your fear and turn the mental blocks into building blocks. Um, I just found this, I really can't wait to, to start this one. I found it really interesting and um, relevant to me personally anyway. And then when you go through the instructions, um, she it, it she breaks it down in such a way, so far from what I've read and through the pictures, that it's very easy to understand. Um, so I'm quite confident that I will be able to follow all of these step by step without any struggle um, of understanding because she's, she's laid it out very, very clearly. Um, and yeah, I love these quotes. So she has these little quotes dotted out throughout the book. Um, yeah, so she says here, apply your colour boldly and with confidence. You can't be timid. This is a new you. You aren't just painting a building. You are building a new artist. Oh, I love that. And a new beginning too. This is very exciting. I love that so, so much. Something I could read again and again and it would just always speak to me. So yeah, um, and then she has some more um, workshops related to, you know, like in oh, workshops, you know, at lessons. Uh, relating to positivity in your life and then at the end here this is another section that I absolutely love so much positive creative energy choosing colors to infuse energy into our building into our building into our being sorry I'm like reading ahead of myself opting for powerful colors to paint with can grant you energy and a feeling of cheerfulness and then she goes through lots of oh, just look at that lots of different colors so you've got red all about red yellow look at that it's so pretty orange positive color advice and then this is a beautiful chapter here I realize there's something incredibly honest about trees in winter how they're experts at letting things go 
such a beautiful book it's definitely one of those that you can use um, as something to apply in your life create well it's something that you you can work through and you can follow all the step-by-step -step instructions and you can apply this to your life and it's also something that you can leave by your bedside or your coffee table and dip into and be encouraged um, and it is very very I personally believe it's very well put together um, and just yeah how she's put it all together all the words oh, it's just such a wonderful beautiful book uh, if I could recommend one book on watercolour it would definitely be this because it applies well it depends what you're looking for but I, I feel that this is a really good starter and um, because obviously it works with um, creating as well a life that you love so um, I think that's all that can be said really about it um, oh, yeah again I highly recommend it there is okay at the time of um, putting this video up it is now it's June 2019 um, there is 20% off in my local art shop and they're online, Ken Bromley, I can link below. But otherwise, I believe this is going to be available pretty much everywhere like Amazon and wherever your local books, bookstore. Um, uh, yeah, so um, again, this isn't a promotion. This is just, just a review. And, um, and I really just hope it helps you decide whether or not you want to buy this book. Um, you will get so much from it if you do. And um, yeah. So if you have any questions, just pop them below and um, I will get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.